very long time. What has made you guys so successful, and why do you think that will carry over to Saturday? Yeah, I think everyone's just kind of buying into uh, the things that made us successful in the season. You know, um, when you go on the road, you got to be compact, you got to be organized, and you got to be tough to break down. And you know, I think we've uh, we've done a good job good job at that. And you know, this guy to my right has scored uh, some insanely timely goals. So you know, I think that that's a good formula on the road, and you know, we're going to try to take it on Saturday. Having Sebastian and Diego score some of those great goals, what kind of confidence does that give you as a back line and a defense? Generally. Yeah, it's great. You know, I think especially in that Kansas City game, the, it kind of brought the game to life. Um, you know, we I think towards the end of the first half, we were getting a little more control of the ball, and you know, uh, when he when he just scores a goal like that, it, it just kind of sparks everything. And you know, uh, to know that you have special players like that up front that are that are able to create and kind of pull things out of nothing, and uh, especially when you know at times we need it the most, as a back line, it builds a lot of confidence, and you know, it uh, kind of re-energizes us to keep us off the board. You guys sort of solidified some things on the back line. Now you've had more consistency with who's sort of been your back four through these playoffs and towards the end of the season. How has that maybe helped you guys uh, find some more success defensively? Yeah, I always think that, you know, the more that you play together as a back line, uh, the easier it is to get on the same page and you know especially for me as a goalie it's it's easy for me to know what guys are doing and, you know uh, everybody has their own style and you know but when you're when you're constantly playing with the same the same group of people in those big time moments then you kind of know what to expect and it makes the game a little bit easier for yourself when you know what the guys around you are going to be doing so what are you guys doing to sort of uh, make sure you're fully prepared in terms of jet lag travel and making sure those fa outside factors aren't impacting you uh, we'll be fine it's uh, you know we're enjoying it it's a cup final uh, uh, we'll be fine. <laughs> Jeff, given the amount of experience in, in cup funnels throughout the, the roster, how easy will it be to, from that perspective, to try to drown out the noise and, and the atmosphere and kind of focus on what's going on 11 v 11 on the field? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if, uh, you know, I think pulling, pulling from guys' experiences and it kind of builds into the confidence of the group. You know, um, when you have a group of guys that have won a cup, and especially a group of veterans that have been there before and have played in these big time moments, you know, it's easy for us to pull for them and kind of look at them even when they're on the field just how calm and confident they are uh, you know throughout this entire week so you know it's easy for me to, to look look up to guys like that and you know try to approach it the same way that they are having got into hostile atmospheres in Kansas City and then also Seattle and gotten the results you needed I mean how does that impact your mentality as you look ahead to another road game here in front of what's going to be a big crowd yeah I mean it helps right anytime you're anytime you're going on the road and, and you're playing in that type of atmosphere and you're you know you're able to come out with a positive result it gives you confidence going into the next one. You know, uh, Dallas as well. You know, Dallas is an easy place to win and we had a red card in that game for the last 40 minutes or so and we were able to get out of there with a win. So, you know, this whole playoffs, it kind of feels like it's been preparing us for this type of moment and, you know, I think internally we feel really confident that, you know, the atmosphere is going to be above us and we'll be, we'll be able to be prepared for it.